Now let's start with the blank document. I have taken a 4000 by 5000 pixel size. Now let's place an image here. By the way, I have downloaded this image using Unsplash. I will mention the download link in the description for you to practice on the same image. Now let's first resize this image. Alright, so the image is now placed perfectly. Now just below the move tool, there is a tool called rectangular marquee tool. We will work with this tool. Now let's zoom in and see the brighter portion of the image. Using the marquee tool, we will select the first portion of the image from where you will select pixel. After that, click on the main image and press Ctrl J which will automatically make the pixel which we selected into a new layer copy. Now press V and grab this pixel from one of its vertical side to stretch it all out from both sides. Zoom out and make the adjustment just like I am doing. Now grab this box using the move tool and move it to the top. Let's zoom in and select other portions of the image. Now make sure you select a different color using marquee tool. We will again press on the main image and press Ctrl J. This will again make the pixel into a new layer copy. Now we will again stretch it out. Now we will again push it to the top. Now for the last time, we will again select some pixel using the marquee tool. Again pressing Ctrl J. Now we will again stretch it out. And make sure it looks good. Let's push it up also. Making some final adjustments. Now select all three stretch layers. And now press Ctrl plus E, which will merge all three selected layers. Now click on filters, then distort and then polar coordinates. Let's zoom out and see the final result. As you can see, yellow is at center. And we don't want that. Now select the stretch layers and press Ctrl T. Now click on flip vertical. And now again click filters, then distort and then polar coordinates. Zoom out to see the result. If it looks perfect, click OK. Now reshape and resize according to the image. Make sure you resize it better near the edges. Now mask the current layer, press B for brush, in this case I am using a hard round brush. Now mask out the unwanted area. I am not going to be precise around the edges as that will consume time.
You should take your time around the edges till then. Let me show you the masked image which I already made. Now you might notice the stretch circles looks different. Well that is because in this image I have sampled different colors to make it more good. Ok so let me show you how it looked before detailing around edges. So this is our final image. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful.